Good morning everybody, welcome to My Creative Time with Emma and also welcome to another Whatever Wednesday. For today, I wanted to make a baby card. So, and I've been wanting to do this forever, ever since I came out with this set. Um, these are the set of dies that are called the Classy Girl Accessories. And we're gonna use the little baby buggy right there. Um, and then I'm using the little bows and this is from the Stitch Party dies. And then I'm using the little, um, the little like burlap background stamp from my uh, Build a Banner, the Build a Banner uh, kit here. Um, and then I have my pieces already cut. What I did was I used, uh, again, I used the clear embossing powder. It's a mess because I know I'm going to cover it up, okay? So here is my little white piece here. Um, this is again from my scraps. I'm having fun with my scraps because I feel like I have so many scraps right now that I'm afraid to cut a fresh piece of paper. So I'm trying to use as much as I can, okay? So here goes the little burlap, little um, background stamps that I used for this. And I used the little, the Tim Holtz uh, antique linen uh, ink for that. So basically how this is going to go, this is going to go here. So let's go ahead and get that down on the paper first. Um, as soon as I find my glue, let me see if I have any tape runners. I think this should do. I found this tape runner here. Let's go ahead and use this. Let's, oh yeah, this will work. All right, let's go ahead and use this to get this down. And I'm not sure what this is. This is just some scotch adhesive dot roller. As long as it's permanent because I have, I'm putting it all on top of this embossing paste here. Okay, so this is just gonna go like so. I think I'm gonna leave a little bit of a blue border. Right there. Okay, and I want to use, looks kind of weird, so hopefully it comes out okay. Um, let me see. You know what? Let me see how this would look here. Let me, let's see. I think I'm going, I'm still going through my stash that I got from Liz's Paper Loft Boutique. I think I will. I'm thinking maybe if I tie this around and make a bow at the top. Yeah, I think I'll do that. Let's do that. Let's do that. And if it comes out horrible, I could always take it off, right? So, let's see. I don't want to cut it just yet because I'm not sure how much of this I'm going to actually need. This feels weird tying this. This is just some trim that I had gotten from um, Liz's Paper Loft Boutique before she closed. I'm still sad about that. Okay. Let's see. Um, this seems just so weird tying this bow. Okay, I think that looks halfway decent. And if at the end of the video you see it gone, it's because I changed my mind. <laughs> okay, but I figure we want to make it a little babyish, right? So what I'll do later on, I don't want to, you know, hold up you guys too long doing this video. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put some little, maybe pop little, um, what do you, little glue dots underneath there to hold that part down. But this part here is just not cooperating. And you'll see it better. I'm pretty sure I'll kind of mess with it, fix it way better at the end of the video. Um, let me pull this. It's hard to make a bow with using this, but... Okay, we'll just keep it like that for now. Okay, and I'll put some glue dot to hold that down later on. Um, but here goes our little baby buggy. Isn't that super duper cute? But before I forget, let's go ahead and get the sentiment. I'm using the sentiment from my many greetings called um, 
Congrats on your new arrival. I just got an email, which I figured I would just answer on the video here. They said which would be the best one to start with, and this will probably be the best many greetings. It has everything in there. It has a total of 21 stamps, 21 different sentiments that would cover lots of occasions. So, oh, here it goes right here. Let me scooch that on over back to my Okay, so this here is going to go right here. Okay, so basically this, that's going to get popped up, but I want to see where I'm going to, I'll put it right there. I don't want to put it up too high because of that bow. So I'm just using some Ranger Black Archival ink for this. Let's go ahead and just put that right there. Okay, that'll work right there. Oh man, I went on a little cricket, but you know what, it's okay. It's not the end of the world, right? Okay, so now what I'm going to do, I'm going to take the little pieces. Someone had asked me what this little piece was for on that set. It actually goes right here on the actual cutie little um, little baby buggy. So since this little guy, this Tombow, has a fine little point here. You know what, let's see, let's put this this way better, yeah. I'm just going to go ahead and just glue it down with this. Just put this teeny little dots here and there. Just like so. And this is just going to go, this just goes right here. Just to kind of give it just a little bit of decoration there. There we go. Okay. There goes that part. And then our cutie patootie little bow. I got this cute little bow from that stitch party die. Let's go ahead and put that. Let's put this right here. Yeah, I think that's cute. And then we're definitely popping this up for sure. Let me grab my pop dots. Oh, here they go. Um, let's see, there we go. Boom. And I'll put a few on here because I'm sending this to someone. I don't want it to fall apart before it gets to them. Oh, that's perfect. I think that's cute. That's a cute little simple card, you know. I don't think I can even remember the last time I made a baby card. I think this came out really cute. Uh, let's see. Hopefully that looks about right. I think that's good, but it's, you know, it's missing something right here. Let me see if I have something. Hold on one second. Okay, I couldn't find what I really wanted for this, so I found my liquid pearls, and I'm so happy I'm organizing. It's taking me forever. I know I said that a long time ago, but I get sidetracked with baseball. <laughs> So, I have a spot for all of my uh, liquid pearls now, but let me, you know what, before I even test this, let me make sure, oops, see, this is going to open here. Oh, good thing I tried that. Okay, so I'm going to test it on a little piece of paper first before I put it down. Okay, good. I don't want it to, like, you know, squirt all over the place. Okay, so I think this will look cute right here. I don't use this stuff enough. I really like this liquid pearls. Okay. And I think I'm gonna leave it like that. I was gonna put something there. But I don't want to make it look too harsh, you know what I'm saying? Because, you know, baby card's supposed to be, I was pushing it, you know, with the little darker blue. But I had to use that blue because it was in my scraps and it was just too cute not to use it. Um, too pretty, I should say. I love that blue. Okay, everybody, I think that is it for my card. Now, what I need to do is I need to put it onto a card base, which I'm probably going to put it on a... Um, 
most likely a craft cardstock color. And I'm going to, in the meantime, I'm going to go ahead and just put these down here with a glue dot. And that's about it, everybody. Thank you so much for tuning in. Don't forget to check out my um, blog at www.creativetimeforme.com to see what the rest of my design team has done for this whatever Wednesday, everybody. Have a fabulous day, and I will see you back here soon. Bye-bye. Thank <music> you.